everyone, welcome to the 6th episode of Learn with Sir Jeric. In this episode, I will help you to perform operations on functions. Yes, functions like integers can be added, subtracted, multiplied, or divided. These are the notations being used to show the sum, difference, product, and quotient of functions. So, let f and g be functions. The notation for the sum is f plus g of x is equal to f of x plus g of x. For their difference, f minus g of x is equal to f of x minus gx. For their product, f times g of x is equal to f of x times g of x. And for their quotient, f divided by g of x is equal to f of x divided by g of x where g of x must not be equal to 0. Let us try some examples. Let f of x is equal to 3x minus 1 and g of x be equal to x squared minus 2. We are going to find f plus g of x, f minus g of x, f times g of x, and f divided by g of x. Let us start with finding the sum of the given functions. So, f plus g of x is equal to f of x plus g of x. Now, we are going to substitute the given values of f of x and g of x. So, our solution will become f plus g of x is equal to the value of f of x which is 3x minus 1 plus the value of g of x which is x squared minus 2. This time, we are going to arrange the terms beginning with the term with the highest exponent. So our solution will be come like this. f plus g of x is equal to x squared plus 3x minus 1 minus 2. Now, we need to combine similar terms. Take note. Similar terms are those terms with the same variables and exponents. I repeat, similar terms are those terms with the same variables and exponents. In this case, the terms that are similar are only negative 1 and negative 2 because x squared and 3x have different exponents. So, negative 1 minus 2 is equal to negative 3. Therefore, the sum of the two functions is f plus g of x is equal to f c squared plus 3x minus 3. Subtracting functions follows the same process. So, we write f minus g of x is equal to f of x minus g of x. Substitute the given values of f of x and g of x. Now, we need to apply the rule in subtracting integers. The minus sign will become plus sign and the signs of the subtrahend will change. Pero ang ginagawa ko para mas maging madali, I distribute the minus sign sa ating subtrahend. So ang ginagawa ko, negative times positive x squared, it will become negative x squared. And negative times negative 2, it will become positive 2. So we'll have this result. Then we are going to arrange our answer. So we will have negative x squared plus 3x plus 2 minus 1. Combine similar terms. So our similar terms are positive 2 and negative 1. Since they have different signs, we are going to subtract the two terms. So our final result will be f plus g of x is equal to negative x squared plus 3x plus 1. Moving on. Let's find the product of f of x and g of x. So we write f times g of x is equal to f of x times g of x. Substitute the values of f of x and g of x. f times g of x is equal to 3x minus 1 times x squared minus 2. Now, we are going to apply a distributive property of multiplication. We are going to multiply 3x to x squared and negative 2. Then, we are going also to multiply negative 1 to x squared and to negative 2. The result will be 
3x cubed minus x squared minus 6x plus 2. As you can see, we have no similar terms. Therefore, this is already our final answer. Now, for the quotient of the given functions. First, we are going to write the given notation for the quotient of two functions. So we write f divided by g of x is equal to f of x divided by g of x. Substitute the values of each function. So we have the following. f of g of x is equal to the value of f of x which is 3x minus 1 divided by x squared minus 2. If you remember, in dividing polynomials, we need to perform factoring methods to find out if they have similar terms that we can cancel out. In these examples, the values of f of x and g of x are called prime, meaning we cannot factor them into polynomials of lower degree. Therefore, this is already the answer. So that's it for this episode. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.